Hello, welcome to the Eric B Show again. Uh, I think we're on episode six now. Uh, if you notice behind me, uh, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, that's where I had my Christmas decorations up. Uh, I had to use nails. Uh, not many people use nails to put Christmas cards up, but uh, I was in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I used a bit of blue tack as well. Uh, I think you'll notice that's what's took the paint off. Uh, so I'll have to do a bit of painting. Uh, so yeah, I really do need a green screen, I think. I uh, don't want to go through this next year. Uh, right, well, uh, welcome back to the show. I've had a bit of a break. Uh, I've still been doing short videos, but this is the first long one I've done again for a while. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll start with Eric's letters, uh, as usual. Uh, some good ones here. I've been helping people privately, but uh, I'm back to doing it publicly again. Uh, so, yeah. Right, enjoy the show. See you later. Bye. Yep. Right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Eric's Letters. Uh, we've had a bit of a break since Christmas. Uh, glad to be back. Uh, so I'm just going to read this letter out. Uh, for today, uh, this is going to be. She's going to be called Agnes. Uh, we all know that's not the real name, uh, but that's the name we're going to use. Uh, so I'm just going to read this letter out to you. Uh, right, we're all ready. Right, here we go. Uh, let's see what's it say. Uh, Dear Eric, I've been having awful problems with my neighbours. It's been a nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Agnes. Right, here we go. Uh, about It all started about two months ago. Uh, it was about two in the morning, uh, and I was playing me Barry Manilow album. Uh, I was just up to Coco Cabana. Uh, or Copa Cabana, my, my mistake. Dodgy I'm right in this. Right, yeah, Copa Cabana. Uh, so I was listening to Copacabana about two in the morning. Anyway, I get this knocking at the door. I could barely hear it with the music, but I answered it. I went up and I opened the door uh, and it was this, uh, it was my new neighbours. Uh, it was the son. Uh, he's about 25, 26, something like that. Uh, and, he, and he started banging on the door. So I, like I said, I opened it. He said, Oi, he said, what do you think you're doing playing that bloody music at two in the morning? Oh, he's a bit rude, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he said, now turn the bloody music off. I'm trying to get some bloody sleep and I don't want to be listening to that racket. Oh, I didn't know what to say. He was so rude. Uh, so I, I didn't really say anything. I just stood there and looked at him. Anyway, uh, I just stood there and watched him walk down the path. He gave a quick look back, shook his head, and then just walked back next door. Uh, so, yeah, very rude. Uh, yeah, sounds like a really bad neighbour, that Agnes. Uh, anyway, uh, about two weeks later, uh, he got ran over. He was crossing the road at night, uh, and he got pinged, and ended up, you know, he got ran over. Uh, so he died. Anyway, my next door neighbour, the mother, she kind of blames me for it. Well, that's a bit harsh, isn't it, Agnes? Don't know how I could blame you for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was driving. Oh, oh, yeah, I can see how they might blame you for that then. Uh, yeah, it, it was dark. Uh, he was crossing the road. Uh, and I accidentally uh, ploughed into him. Uh, so he just went rolling over my roof, and that was that, really. But, yeah... But she seemed to have a grudge ever since then. I tried going to the funeral, but they just shouted at me. So I thought, all right, no, you know, trying to be nice. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, a week later, I was playing Mandy on my album uh, thing there. You know, another Barry Manilow classic, because I'm a bit of a Barry Manilow fan, if you didn't notice. Yeah, I think we've gathered that. Uh, so, yeah. And then the father bangs on the door. He said, look, he said, you've bloody run me son over. He said, you're playing this trash again near three in the morning. Can't get any bloody sleep. You've bothered my family quite enough. Uh, so I've had enough of it. Stop playing your bloody music. Oh, he sounds a little bit rude as well. I can see where he got it from. Uh, what else does it say? Uh, anyway, it got to about oh, three weeks later... Anyway, he was crossing the road uh, on his way back home after being in the pub and he got bloody ran over. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, it wasn't my fault. He stepped out between two parked cars. Uh, I mean, 
the mother seems to think I'm doing this on bloody purpose. You know, he did die, but I mean, there's not much I could do about it. You know, if he's going to be drunk walking across the road at night in front of my bloody car, you know, these things will happen, won't they? Yeah, I suppose so, uh, Agnes. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, she still started, you know, blaming me, uh, but she wasn't quite as, uh, you know, she seemed to be a little bit more polite after this. Yeah, I can see why she's uh, being more polite to you, Agnes. Uh, what else does it say? Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, another week or so passed, you know, and I, I kept seeing her. I tried waving at her, you know, as I was driving past. Uh, she wouldn't leave the pavement. She just stays on the pavement all the time like I'm, like I'm some sort of maniac. Uh, she won't cross the road when she sees me. Uh, yeah, you, you, I think you could probably understand a part of you, Agnes, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, about a week or so ago, uh, they found her dead in the bath. Uh, did they? Uh, right. Uh, yeah, apparently she left like a suicide note. He just said, uh, what did he say? He said, I love Michael, uh, no, it, it says, I love Barry Manilow. Uh, and it was like written out a hundred times. Uh and that was all that was near the body. Apparently, she'd thrown an electrical appliance in the bath with her after uh, taking a load of sleeping tablets. Uh, so, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, Agnes. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I've got new neighbours now. Uh, and they're just settling in. I was thinking this weekend I was going to put my uh, Barry Manilow album back on uh, and see how the new neighbours react to it. Uh, I hope they like it. Uh, yeah, I hope they like it as well. Uh, uh, what would you suggest I do, you know, to make friends with the new neighbours? Uh, I think a bit of love and understanding and, uh, you know, just try and be as easy going as you can, Agnes. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, that was an interesting letter, that, Agnes. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, just try and be tolerant, you know. Don't take offence at too many things and, uh, you know, really try and get on with your new neighbours. Uh, that's all I can suggest, really. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, let's see the next letter. Right. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Right, here we go with the second letter. Uh, I thought I'd pick one that had a kind of uh, similar theme. Uh well, it's not that similar, really, to be honest. Uh, right, uh, for this letter, uh, we'll call the woman writing in, we'll call her Agatha. Uh, right, so, okay, Agatha, here we go, we'll read your letter out. Uh, yeah, I was going round to my best friend's house the other week. Uh, I thought she'd be in, so I thought I'd just, you know, knock on and go and see how she's doing. Uh, so I went round, uh, and I knocked on the door, uh, but I didn't get any answer. Uh, so... As I was walking away, I looked into the sort of back garden and I could see my friend in the back. Uh, she was stood there in a frock with a uh, hat on and everything. So I thought, oh, right, I'll just go and shout over the fence and have a word with her. Uh, so I went over. Uh, I shouted. Anyway, they turned round. It turned out it wasn't my friend. Uh, it was my friend's husband. Uh, he was wearing all her gear. Uh, he had a floral dress on and like a flowery hat. Uh, he's about 73. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, well, that's a bit interesting. Uh, yeah, you don't see that every day. Uh, yeah, I was wondering, Eric, uh, should I tell her or not? Uh, he pleaded with me not to tell his wife, uh, but she is my best friend, uh, and I feel kind of obliged to say something. Uh, so what would you do, Eric? Uh, right, Agatha, uh, to be honest, uh, I'd listen to him on this one. Uh, she's not going to be happy to know that her husband's, uh, you know, hanging around her house in her gear. Uh, it doesn't mean he doesn't love his wife, you know. It just means he's got a bit of a different lifestyle. Uh, what I'd do is, uh, I'd just keep it to yourself for now uh, and pretend it never happened. Uh, just ignore it. Uh, this is probably the uh, best policy because, you know, you don't want to cause a divorce or any arguments. Uh, so, yeah, I'd leave that. Uh, just pretend it never happened. Never speak about it again. Uh, yeah, uh, so I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for the letter, Agatha. Uh, well, you're not Agatha, but uh, you know you know who you are. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, right, well, that's uh, Eric's letters for today. Uh, and we'll get on with the rest of the show. Yep. Right. Bye. See you next time. Yep. Well, that was Eric's letters there. I uh, think it helped, uh, helped a few people there as usual. Uh, right, well, on to the next part of the show. Uh, we're going to do the Darwin Awards again. Uh, I usually give a little clue at this bit. Uh, All I'll say is, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a rough one, this. Uh, I don't think the guy was uh, using all his wisdom uh, in this one. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I can't think of a clue to use for this one particularly. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see what it is. Uh, right, here we go. Here's the Darwin Awards. NGI. Yep. Right, here we go again. Uh, welcome to the Darwin Awards. Uh, this one's from 2006 in Brazil. Uh, I've not really got his full name. Uh, I don't think it's possible to phone him either. You'll understand why once I've told you uh, how he won the award. Uh, back in 2006, uh, what we had was uh, this Brazilian... Uh, he found an RPG, yeah, uh, and for anybody who doesn't know, uh, that's a rocket-propelled grenade. Uh, and what he used to do, uh, he used to salvage metal. Uh, so he thought it would be a good idea to disassemble the RPG. Uh, so what he did, uh, he got his car, uh, and he drove over it. Now this didn't seem to uh, do the job. Uh, so he took it back to his shop, uh, and then he thought, I know, uh, I'll put it in a vice and I'll hit it with a sledgehammer. That should disassemble it. Uh, to cut a long story short, uh, he did hit it with a sledgehammer uh, and he did disassemble it into very small fragments. Uh, apparently it blew his shop up and it took six cars outside his shop away as well. Uh, he was Luckily, he was the only fatality. Uh, you know, he spread himself all around the area after he hit it. Uh, and that was it. Uh, so, yeah, he won that in 2006. Uh, if anybody does find a rocket propelled grenade at home, uh, my advice would be to not start hitting it with an hammer. Uh, it's not really the thing to do. Uh, just call a specialist. Uh, and I'm guessing the specialist won't use a hammer on it. Uh, I used to collect old pop bottles, me, when I wanted a bit of money. Uh, so, I think if you've got that choice, uh, I'd stick to that. Uh, right, well, I'll move on to the next part of the show then. Uh, the next bit's, uh, yeah, Eric's bits. That's the next bit. Uh, so enjoy that. And, uh, yep, glad to be back. See you later. Bye. Yep. Uh, welcome to Eric's bits. Uh, I said at the start of the show uh, that it was episode six. Uh, I got that a little bit wrong. It's actually episode five, this. Uh, so uh, I thought it's easier just to say it now rather than go back and uh, re-record the beginning. Uh, just being a bit lazy there. Hope you don't mind. Uh, right, well, I'll finish this show off with the uh, quick joke, if you don't mind. Uh, I quite like it. Not brilliant, uh, but it's all right. Uh, Yep, this guy goes to the doctors, uh, he's cut all his fingers off. Uh, he put them all in this machine and all his fingers got s sliced off. Uh, they all went all over the place, uh, just, just wazzed off. Uh, so he thought, right, best get to the doctors. So he went to the doctors. Uh, the doctor said, look, if you'd have brought all your fingers in, I could have reattached them. You know, we have the technology to do that now. Uh, he said, well, to be honest, doctor, I was going to do that, uh, but I had nothing to pick them up with. Yeah, I know it's not great, uh, but it's not bad, is it? Uh, right, well, thanks for joining uh, me again this week. Uh, I've really enjoyed it, as I always do. Uh, and if you would like to follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm Eric P Show 200 uh, I'll put it in the description for anybody that forgets, and I might put like a little flashcard in the middle of it, uh, just to remind people, because uh, I need all the followers I can get over there if I can. Uh, you know, want to be the next Clint Eastwood, you know. want to make myself famous. Uh, so with your help, I could probably do that. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next week. Uh, not sure what the next show will be. Uh, probably another short one, uh, but I will do these sporadically every few weeks. Uh, so yeah, great seeing everybody again, so to speak, on the other side of the camera. Uh, so yeah, right, bye. 
See you next week. Yeah.